Hey, welcome back. So uh, I want to welcome y'all back again for another installment and edition of our Ubuntu series. Uh, today we're going to talk and focus on, uh, basically we're going to talk and focus on Nautilus. That's our file manager. We're going to uh, kind of walk through and talk about some files, how to create files, um, how to move files, re rename, copy, paste, remove, uh, search files, folders, uh, files, folders, and searching. Uh, that's basically what we're going to talk about and focus on on this, uh, this edition here. So, uh, as you can see, I got up my... Uh, I got my file manager open, my Nautilus file manager. I'm at my home screen, my home or my home folder. So let's talk about folders. Uh, everything in that you're going to deal with in any type of Linux-based system is essentially a uh, it's a folder structure. Everything's a folder or a file. So you see over here, let's talk about, uh, let's let's create a folder. So you wanna create a new folder. It doesn't matter where it is. Let's say, let's say, uh, let's go into our documents folder. Um, and we wanna, let's make a new folder. What you wanna do is you, let's right click in it, just in, in the open space here. You right click, you wanna click on new folder. Right now, it's created this folder and it's ready for you to uh, name the folder at, at that point. It, right now it's just called Untitled Folder. If you hit enter, that's what the name of the folder is going to be, Untitled Folder. So we want, we're going to give it a name. Uh, we're just going to call it uh, Test. This is our Test Folder. Or let's call it Demo. Demo. <clears throat> Alright, bam, hit that. And as you see, there's our new folder, there's our new demo folder. There's nothing in it. If you want to go in there, just double click. Bam, you're in your demo folder. And as you see up here at the top here, it shows you the path as you start clicking in. If you want to go back, you can actually use the tabs up here to take you back. Or you can use your side pane over here. Click back to the, your main documents folder. So now that we have a, our folder created, let's say uh, uh, you've you've uh, put some stuff in there, or you've oh, you've said, "Oh, hey, uh, I don't want this here. I need it in a different spot and location." Um, to do that, you can do a couple of things. Um, you can either cut what that's going to do. That's actually going to remove it from. It's like doing a move essentially so it's you're gonna move uh, which you see down here move to but cutting is like it's gonna cut it from that location uh, almost putting it in a, in a clipboard situation and then you just navigate to where you want it and then you paste so let's do that this demonstration here I'm gonna cut it cut demo documents let's go back home paste boom there's demo <clears throat> you guys and uh, if you remember uh, from the previous series there's a keyboard shortcut here you can open up another tab inside your file manager you remember what that is yeah control T bam got me another tab that way I don't have to I don't have to essentially keep clicking back my tabs in my in the pane over here so I'm gonna stay hit one download and the other one's going to be my home and then the documents folder. So as you look and see here, that demo folder is no longer there. That's what cutting does. So you actually just you move it from one location to the other. Now let's here's some, I, I want to let's say I want to put that back or I want to put a copy of it back. I'm I want I need to make a backup of it or, uh, or in, in in essence you can say copy right click on that folder say copy I'm gonna go back to my uh, documents folks side of my tab here and right click and then I'm gonna say paste 
now I've got one there's a demo folder in my documents and then there's a demo folder in my doc I mean demo folder in downloads and the demo folder in my documents folder so that's basically how you cut paste move a folder now let's talk about a file uh, I got some files here anyway here's an mp3 file <clears throat> and it's the same pretty much the same case <clears throat> If you want to copy and move that or paste it, you can cut it. I can cut it and then move it into a folder. Let's say, let's cut it and let's put it in the music folder. I'm going to cut it. I don't want it in there at all. So I'm going to move that out and paste it. Simple as that. So let's go back. Put me back in my downloads. Real simple. <clears throat> now you can create a blank text file. Uh, if you just want to do like a blank regular text file, just like in Windows has a note, the notepad that opens up a, the, uh, just a text file, uh, you can right click, I'm going to put it in the document, so you can right click and you can say new document, empty document, that's all, you're just going to be a, basically a blank text document, <coughs> and it's untitled, let's go in here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, that way it's already named. I don't. I, I don't have to rename. Uh, rename it when I save it. So we're gonna call this uh, demo doc. Demo underscore doc. We're gonna put dot txt so we know it's a text file. So, and bam, there's our demo. The un, our demo underscore dot text. Doc dot text file can't talk here <laughs> getting tongue-tied okay so we, we've got we've created a basic file it's in our documents folder same same principle as moving or pasting or copying and pasting a uh, folder or a file you can say let's cut this or I'm gonna I, I need a duplicate <clears throat> I'm gonna copy it oh yeah actually uh, we've done copy and cut let, let me show you this other here uh, these other two features here you actually can say uh, move to move to this actually will just open up a separate uh, destination window so you can actually navigate and say you know let me uh, let's say uh, we're in documents I'm going to put that in the downloads folder we're there <coughs> Okay, you say yeah I want that's where I want it and go and same principle this just a, the other two the move to and copy to go to this dot, let's go to this text dot. so the move to and copy to uh, they will just allow it opens up a separate window for you to make those adjustments um, and obviously you see all these options down here you can actually if you want to make a shortcut in windows they call it a shortcut and here you are just basically making a link it'll link back to the original document let's do that so let's make a link to this text document here make link so there we go so that's a link and what that'll do you can put that anywhere and not have to actually mess with your original documents uh, this is like I said just the link it links to the original so uh, let's say I want to let, let's move that use this other feature here let's move that to just just move it someplace crazy here just move it to the music folder so bam that links there I'm gonna click on music now this doc this text document will still open up even though this is our quote unquote our shortcut or our link and there you have it. That's creating a link. Let me get rid of that. I don't need that. Okay. So we've uh, copied, we've moved, we've pasted, we've created just a, a document. Um, you can check properties of a folder that you're in or properties of a file or folder so you right click and go down here to properties you notice when I click in the in the blank space here you don't get as many 
options to do anything just because you're not you don't have anything selected so if you like if you go to a file or a folder and you right click see all the options that you get now I can encrypt this folder if I wanted to sign it uh, we can create a share from it here we can compress it if you want to compact a file or a folder down a little bit if you had other versions of a file or a folder you can go here check uh, versions here bam right click this is a quick email this will actually open up to your email client if you have something set up and so for example let me show you here let's say email and I don't know if I have my oh yeah there it is so it's over here <clears throat> and there's my it zips it up for you in a nice little attachment throws it into I actually opened up two here so it's ready to prep the message for you it's ready to go and ready to send all you have to do is put in who you want to send it to subject put a body in and out of the, out, there it goes quick easy way for you to actually uh, email files or folders to someone or documents real easy you don't have to really go into your email account or your email uh, application and here, just as I said, there's property. So if you want to check out properties, this will actually tell you contents, shows you the type, uh, gives you location where the where it resides at. You can check out permissions. You can make adjustments to that to, to that folder or file. Here, you can actually do a little quick share, create a share from whatever your folder you have or file you have highlighted. You put in all the however you want. Uh, access guests or allow allow people to delete in this folder here you can create the name uh, so that's, that, that's pretty much it everybody um, I just wanted to go a little quick on this uh, installment we wanted to talk about uh, files and folders oh 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 yeah I did forget there's a few <clears throat> so I want to go up here and show you uh, here so here's the search feature I, I almost forgot about that so if you wanted to search Let's actually go to the home. We want to search. I want to, let's start typing uh, Linux. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how nice and slick that is. L. <coughs> I as I start typing see really nice search feature um, so right now I, I'm, I'm in my home folder but it searches everything in your home folder uh, see I can see let's let's let me try to search for something specific uh, like let me see here this is everything that's in your home and even in the hidden Hidden items, your hidden folder, it's just, it just searches your home. Wherever folder you have here that you select up here, that's where, that's where it searches. And it, it searches. So, let's say, uh, well, let's, let me say Cali. Look at that. Bam. Everything that I have in my home folder that's related to Cali. Stuff that I have. I've got a couple of scripts here. And these are PDFs. Some virtual machine images. There's a Cali folder with my uh, virtual machine workstation. So look, that that's an awesome search feature. I mean, that's and did you see how fast it was? Okay, now look and then here, if you want to change how your list item your items are listed, you can click that. If you prefer like a list tree style view, you can go there. Uh, if you prefer the icon grid hit this button list grid list grid uh, I, I leave it on the grid here but uh, now I think that's pretty much it um, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video I uh, hope you got some good information out of it uh, like share comment on this video below uh, if you need help with any of your IT issues don't hesitate uh, give me a holler, www.bewit.net. If you're going to be with anybody, you want to be with the best.